welcome back to another thrift haul um cat hair joined by my cat stormy i apologize just don't lick your butt or anything gross and you can stay <laughs> myself away from the thrift stores. It's just, it's my weakness right now, if I'm being honest. Um, so I have a lot to show you guys. Um, I also want to show you guys some of the things that I have thrift flipped or things that I've created since I kind of got into sewing again and I thought it would be fun to share those with you. So first we'll start with some of the things that I have recently thrifted. And um, maybe I'll just show you guys like my favorite things. Because some of these things I found are just like simple things like this like quarter zip, soft, casual lounge shirt. Um, speaking of casual, well I guess it's not casual, but look at this beautiful burgundy Lacoste um, half or quarter zip. I found this at the Cherryland Humane Society thrift store here in Traverse City and I got this for one dollar. The retail on this is insane. Um, so yeah, what a steal. One dollar and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It looks brand new. Like I don't, it doesn't even look like it's hardly been worn. Next up, I got this gorgeous it's wet seal so it's really nothing that special as far as brand goes um, but this beautiful fuchsia color silk or satin like a slip dress but it has these cute little cap sleeves on it um, with a slit and this raw edged brown trim and it's so cute I can't wait to wear this I'll show you how I plan to style this but this with some cute brown cowboy boots would be just a really fun summer outfit. Now we are getting into summer, but this was another dollar find. I got this from the Women's Resource Center here in Traverse City, and I just couldn't pass this up for one dollar. It is a really thick, comfy, it's not like an itchy sweater. Um, but on the front it has this beautiful colorful sequin detail and it is a little bit funky and out there but like how could you pass this up for a dollar I really like stuff that is a little bit different and out there my style is kind of all over the place I don't really have one particular thing that I gravitate towards I really, if I like something, I just have to have it. If it's a good deal, of course. Um, this was another dollar find. This is a super stretchy, um, kind of a sheer top. And I saw it and I wasn't sure how this would fit. It does have like this um, like stretchy gathered detail to it. Um, with this really cute uh, ruffled trim along the neckline and 
I figured there was something that I could do with this to make it cute. And so I will show you guys how I styled this fun, funky top. This top was also from the dollar rack. This is a sheer floral top with a cute little ruffle detail. Um, the sleeves are stretchy and kind of cuffed, so it's just a really cute top. It does have like a little ruffle at the bottom, and it's a simple top that you can dress up and for a dollar, how could you say no? Next up, I believe this skirt was like $3.99, but I am just in love with it. It has this really cute um, embroidered like paisley detail. I guess it's not embroidered, embroidered on there, but um, nonetheless, the pattern is just really pretty. Um, I like that it's black because I feel like I could get a lot of wear out of this. I can dress it up or down. And the best part about it is the buttons that go all the way down the dress. I just thought that was such a really cute detail. Next up, this was from Salvation Army. This was a green tag item, which that day the green tag items were 50% off. It's this very vibrant um, purple color. And I'm sure you guys remember these tops where they're like teeny tiny and then they stretch. And um, I just really liked the color of this and the material's really funky and cool. I keep saying funky. Um, but it is pretty wild and funky. So I had to pick this up. I want to say it was like $2.50 or no, it was $1.50 because it was $3. So I got this for $1.50. And I'm not quite sure how the fit looks or how I feel about it, but I figured for $1.50 I can take it to the sewing machine or like tie it up. Just, I'm sure there's a million ways I can make this into a really cute top. All right, next up I picked up these boots. So these boots are um, super cute. They're really form-fitting on the ankle, or the ankle, the calf, and, the, and um, I like when my boots fit really tight to my calf, and they only go uh, below the knee, so I just thought they were really cute with the different um, fabrics and the buckle detail. I just really liked these, and I've already worn them. I wore them out on a rainy day, so had to dust off a little mud but they are the perfect boot for this wet spring weather and I got these from um, the Women's Resource Center and boots were all 50% off and I want to say I paid like maybe four dollars for these so super cute now I have a couple items that I actually didn't thrift but I wanted to share these because you can find deals at other stores. Um, you don't necessarily have to buy a second hand, but with the way that I like fashion and the way that I like different um, clothes and liking to try different things, I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes because um, sometimes I'm just like experimenting. And so just to let you know, you can find deals at just the store. Um, I found these Juicy Couture sandals. Um, they're just so, so adorable. They have a giant gold buckle on them and they're this like fun, fuzzy material. And I got these for under $5. They were $4.97. So um, don't sleep on the clearance section. You can always find super cute things and I just thought these were fun and I'm not sure how I'm going to style them yet but what a fun shoe to have in your closet. Along with those shoes I have been wanting a pair of like really chunky clog type shoes but I'm not a big fan of the way clogs look so I, I just I've been unsure about it and I haven't been able to thrift any yet 
So I figured I would just kind of hold off before like looking into buying them. And I found these. These are so cute to me. I got these at the same place that I uh, picked up these Juicy Couture sandals um, at a store in the mall. I believe it's Shoe Department here in Traverse City. And I paid, I want to say like $9.99 or something for these. So between the two pairs of shoes, I spent around $15. So under $20 for two pairs of shoes. Um, and these are so cute. They're fuzzy inside and I like that they're kind of casual and sporty at the same time. Like they're Rocket Dog and I like the orange on them and the fact that there's black, the sole is black. So you can really mix up how you wear these. You can wear different colors with them like black. Um, a lot of times I feel like with the clogs, the brown clogs that I've been seeing at the store, they're just so dressy or I don't feel like they're very versatile but with something like this you can really make it a casual look or you can dress it up um, in like a fun different way but they're so comfy and I'm a short girl I'm only five one um, so I need a little bit of height sometimes and this is just such a chunky heel perfect for short girls like me oh yes I have one more pair of shoes that I have to show you guys I think just one. Oh wait two more I told you guys I'm just really addicted to thrifting these days um, so I have a lot to show you guys so these are gorgeous basically brand new um, Adidas they're the Adidas sleek um, perfect fit in my size six dollars and I found these at double edge which is here in Traverse City so yeah look at these beauties they look like they've never been worn look at the inside of that so clean yes they're gorgeous next up I have worn these these are also it's super muddy outside so just disregard the fact that my shoes are a little dirty um, but I found these at value world I want to say in Ypsilanti Michigan um, I've been looking for a chunky pair of white boots and haven't been able to find anything like this at the thrift store found these when I went downstate and thrifting with my mom and my sister and they're just so so cool I love the chunkiness of the heel I love things like I mentioned that give me a little bit of height and these are just something I couldn't pass up so I finally have a pair of white chunky boots to add to my collection okay next up my friend Joy and I went thrifting on Thursday, on Thursday, and we took our girls with us and we had such a good time and she found this super cute like jacket, um, corduroy, really soft button up and it's in this beautiful mint color and you know as much as I have like my room is filling up with clothes so I almost didn't get it but just could not pass up this mint green color and it's so beautiful once again it feels like it's never been worn um, I did share with you guys on my Instagram story um, a couple weeks ago the last time I was downstate where I found those white chunky boots I also found these Levi's um, I will insert some clips from that thrift haul or that thrift trip and I've been looking for 501's um, I hear all about 501's how they're just a great fit and if you can find them with a little wear and tear then that makes them even cuter and I got so lucky they 
had a pair of the Buttonfly 501s and they are distressed perfectly. I did not think that they were gonna fit. Um, and because I'm so short, I was worried that like the rips and stuff wouldn't line up with my actual knees and that they would just look terrible. But I figured if they didn't fit me, I would try to resell them or give them to a friend who would want them. But they fit perfect and I'm just so happy that I didn't pass them up. So don't pass up a good find. You can always resell it or gift it to somebody else if it doesn't fit. Or you can be proactive and measure, take your measurements at home, bring your measuring tape with you and measure the article of clothing just to see if it fits. Because I know right now a lot of places the dressing rooms aren't open, which doesn't make any sense to me, but it's just, it's just the way of the world. You know what I actually did to try these on? Um, I like ducked into a rack and literally just threw them on really fast. Like, <laughs> probably wrong, but um, I had like protectors around me and stuff. Like, I had people guarding me, so it was fine. But anyways, Levi's, just a classic staple. So I'm just gonna give, um, oh wait, I have a couple more things. Um, these are J. Crew Classic Twill Chino, like, dress pants. They're kind of, I was gonna say cargo pants, but they don't have cargo pockets. But cargo pants are very in, and so are like trousers and things like that. I bought these thinking they would kind of look like cargo pants, and although they don't have the cargo pockets, I actually really like the way these fit. They're very comfy and they look really cute with just like a white t-shirt and some boots or some cute little like loafers. So I am glad that I picked these up. These were a dollar as well as the pants I'm wearing right now. They are like men's trouser pants. I'll show you guys my outfit um, a little bit better. This I also picked up for a dollar. It's a classic black, um, like long sweater. You can't go wrong with it. Um, especially this time of year, I feel like having a classic black sweater to throw on over a cute tank um, just is an essential to have in your wardrobe. Picked these up also for a dollar because I was kind of playing around with how to take in the waist of pants and work on just kind of practicing. And so I picked up this pair that I'm wearing and these, and I practiced on my sewing machine taking in the waistband, and they actually turned out really cute. They fit me very similar to the ones I'm wearing. They're just a little bit lighter, and I figured for a dollar, I would just get both pairs so I can practice in case I messed one of them up. Now I just have an abundance of oversized men's trouser pants, but I like them so it's all good. This is such a pretty black top, but look at just how cute the details are on this. It's a really pretty black collared top. It has this really pretty detailing here. Um, and the sleeves kind of flare out and it's just super cute. The bottom trim is really pretty. It's just like a really, really cute top. Um, there's so many different ways you can wear this, but I figured in the summertime this would be really cute under a bralette or just like a black tank and wearing it open or buttoned up would be just such a pretty black top. It's just such a classic, beautiful black top to have in your closet. So next up, I actually found a couple bathing suits. Um, I found a black bathing suit. It's kind of not worth mentioning because it's just a black triangle top um, with bottoms and really cute. Um, I'm sure I'll be wearing it a lot this summer. 
but I also found this really cute one piece. It is, I believe from Target, I believe it's a Target brand bathing suit. Um, it's just a one piece and it doesn't have the straps that come with it, but that's okay because I really like a strapless bathing suit in the summer. It's really great. I like to wear um, like tube tops in the summertime a lot, just super easy to throw on. So not having any tan lines is always nice. And you can just throw this bathing suit on and go and the top is very supportive. And after um, a couple kids, you know, the more support the better. So I'm excited to wear this this summer and it's just a really cute one piece. Now the last thing from my thrift finds is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous vintage black robe. Can you tell that I like black? I feel like I have so much black. Um, oh my gosh, I still have one more thing to show you guys. So this is the beautiful robe. It is sheer. Um, I love the lace detail around the robe here. Um, it goes around the middle of the robe. It's on the sleeves. It's just so, so beautiful. And I told Jake I'm probably gonna wear this out as like a dress. So I'd probably wear another dress under it, like another black dress under it, just something sleek and simple and um, put this over top. I'll show you guys, it's stunning. But I couldn't pass this up. And when I checked out, the girl at the counter was like, I have been eyeing that for weeks. And she's like, that is such a find. I actually kind of felt bad buying it, but she was totally like supporting me in it. So I don't know, maybe I'll see if she wants to borrow it. <laughs> Okay, this is the last thing. I forgot because there's so much black articles of clothing around me. I don't know what's what. So I had went to the women's resource a few times in a week and I tried these pants on and I didn't get them because they were super, super warm and I was like sweating in the dressing room putting these on and I was like these are way too warm and spring and summer are coming and they just might be too hot for the spring and summer but I went home and I called my mom and we were talking and I was like man I am having serious regret that I didn't get those leather pants they're not real leather but um I went back the next day and I got the pants and they're just so cute um, they're kind of like a high-waisted pant and they have this belt so they tie and they have that kind of like scrunchy waist and they're just like really fun um, so I'm really glad that I went back and they were still there so happy about that these are just an honorable mention that I didn't thrift I actually made um, an order to Shein around my birthday time and I got I am so burpy today, excuse me. Does anybody else get that way when you drink coffee? Like, coffee makes me a little like, eh. Um, but anyways, I ordered these off of Shein and along with a few other items, but maybe I'll have to do a Shein haul. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys want a Shein haul too? Um, I got a lot of jewelry. I got another pair of pants a bathing suit cover up, a bathing suit, and yeah, some fun things. So if you wanna see that, let me know. Um, but these pants are just chef's kiss. They're perfect. They are literally perfect. They have this cute slit in the front. Um, and I don't know, I just, I love them. They are so flattering on your bootay and who doesn't like that so I just figured I'd share them because they were right here and along with the pleather it just seemed right um a few other things I thrifted since I have you here I am a thriftaholic you guys I kind of have a problem 
I'm running out of space in my house to hold all of these items. Um, I've decided I'm going to start reselling things and it just seems like it makes sense. So I do have a Poshmark now and I will be integrating selling these things onto my Instagram eventually, but um, I have a really hard time with finding something and buying it and wanting to keep it. I don't know. I'm struggling, but I got this green visor. Now, hear me out. It's a little bit crazy, but I just picture this being so cute in the summertime, like with just like a plain black bathing suit. And I don't know. Is it like so horrible? I feel like it's cute. What do you guys think? Super, super hideous? I don't know. If it is, maybe I'll sell it to one of you out there who does like it. I like it though. I found this necklace and this necklace is so funky. Let's start a counter for how many times I say funky. This necklace is so gorgeous. It is super fun, um, beaded, and I love a statement necklace, uh, especially one that's not like too tacky. Um, some might think this is tacky, but I think it's beautiful, and I will show you how I'm gonna wear this and what I'm gonna style it with, and then you're gonna be like, oh, okay, okay, I get it. Um, but it's just fun. Another thing I've been into are these beaded like evening bags. This is so beautiful. Look at the way it shines. Ugh, like, look at that. So it's just this multicolored evening bag. Um, the colors are picking up very, very vibrant on here. Um, and I just, I love it. I had to have it, it was only a couple bucks. All the purses I got were like, I think this was $5. Um, this little bag I got for $1, but it's so cool. I love this. It reminds me of, does anybody remember watching Wasting in Sillyville? Correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there like a character in that show? that looks like this? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. But it was so cute for a dollar. Um, I got this backpack. I thought this would be great to throw some diapers in and thanks for Evelyn for just like a quick beach run. Um, we could go down to the beach and I could just throw a couple things in here that we need and be on our way. You can wear it over one shoulder or you can make it into a little backpack. So I thought it was really The last thing I'm going to show you from my thrift trips is this beaded shell bag. Um, it's just so stunning. It has beautiful beading along the trim. I don't know if you can see this. Um, but like as you can see around the trim and around the top here, it just has this um, really delicate little beading and it's in such pristine okay my camera died um as I was showing you the last thing that I wanted to show you guys from my thrift hauls um of course I always find things for the kids a lot of things for Evelyn and I can also put together a thrift haul for all of her things if that's something you're interested in. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna make my thrift video, one video, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into another video and show you guys all the things that I have made and flipped from my thrift trips. So thanks for watching my thrift haul part one video. As always, my work here is never done. Um, Subscribe to my YouTube channel at Work Never Done if you are into fashion thrifting, thrift flipping, sewing, and all of the other things um, that I share on there, such as just life and 
testimonies, and all kinds of fun stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.